Hey friends, this is just a very short explainer on mass attenuation coefficient. It very much builds on my previous video, which was on linear attenuation coefficient. So before you even bother watching this, go back and watch that one first and come back here. So when I talked about linear attenuation coefficient, that concept primarily focused on the thickness of a material attenuating the X-ray. And remember the word attenuation just refers to the physical property of a material reducing the beam's energy or to scatter or absorb the radiation to a certain degree. However, the level of attenuation also depends on the density of the attenuator and that's where the mass attenuation coefficient comes in, which is defined as the fractional reduction in X-ray intensity that occurs in a material per unit mass. Or well, think about it as the ratio between the attenuation of a radiation beam, whether it's an X-ray or whatever, to the mass of that material in which it passes through. And this is both the function of the energy and type of radiation, but also the chemical composition of the material, you know, like what it's made of. For example, the mass coefficient of bone is higher than soft tissue due to its higher density and the tissue's higher effective atomic number. If you don't know what effective atomic number is, I've explained that in the previous video which I'll link down below for you. So just as the linear attenuation coefficient has a symbol mu, the mass attenuation coefficient also has a cute little symbol that's called rho, the 17th letter of the Greek alphabet which looks suspiciously close to our lowercase p, which is the 16th letter of the English alphabet. And I guess while we're here, mu is the 12th letter of the Greek alphabet. Anyways, back to what we're talking about. So basically the attenuation coefficient is denoted by the symbol mu divided by rho, where mu is the attenuation coefficient and rho is the mass density of the material. So as you can now imagine, we can simply go from linear to mass attenuation coefficient simply by dividing the former mu by the latter that is the density of the attenuator rho all right that's it for this short explainer again if you found any value from this please give it a like now let's continue our wonderful journey of learning because in the next video i'll be talking about the inverse square law so if you're struggling with that idea click here to watch that and i'll see you there stay curious